you are the future of cyber security and if you don't know this life cycle then no problem i am there for you to explain yes the life cycle i am discussing is about digital forensics life cycle in cyber security there are totally nine steps in this life cycle the first one is preparation identification collection preservation analysis interpretation reporting presentation and the last one is review so what is this life cycle about it is a structured process to investigate cyber incident collect and analyze digital evidence and maintain the integrity of data for legal purposes so this life cycle is followed to investigate cyber incidents like many incidents happen right so they collect and analyze digital evidences through this structure and they maintain the integrity of data for legal purposes like keeping the data secure until the legal uh, legal investigation of that uh, crime is completed and they uh, doesn't let that uh, evidence go out until that uh, uh, case is completely solved so let's learn the nine steps briefly the first one is preparation what is mean by preparation in this life cycle it is ensuring the readiness for potential cyber attacks like uh, being ready or getting ready for any type of cyber attack before that attacks attacker attacks on uh, on the system uh, like locking the door from uh, inside the inside the room uh, so that the thief can't enter into your house that is with the preparation before any attacker attacks on you the second one is identification recognize and determine the scope of incident like uh, someone is uh, watching you from outside then closing the window is the identification and recognition that someone is watching on you then collection gather digital evidence in a forensically manner so here uh, collecting the uh, collecting the evidence according to the rules and laws and the fourth one is preservation protect the integrity of collected evidence like whatever you have gathered the evidence you have to be uh, careful or uh, careful with that evidence that nothing should go out of your uh, data the fifth one is analysis here examine the collected evidence when you collect something you have to it's obvious that you have to undergo some processes whether that data is correct so that your case doesn't go in a, in any other wrong direction interpretation draw conclusions from the analysis results like it's obvious that after analyzing the collected evidence you have to draw some type of flow charts or some type of some type of graphs so that you connect each point in your case and you reach until the end uh, attacker reporting document findings and provide recommendations like whatever you have found till now and whatever you have interpreted you have to uh, like document that and keep the, all the things at a place so that none of your findings or none of your uh, preserve, preserved collection should go out from the data and you have to provide that recommendations uh, to the next authority presentation communicate findings to relevant stakeholders like after collecting some type of evidence you try to communicate with that what type of evidence you have got so that you will find to the next uh, step of that case review evaluate the process and improve future responses like after completing or after solving a case try to review what type of work you have done throughout the case so that you can improve that more fastly in in the next upcoming cases so that you can solve the case more efficiently and fastly rather than the previous one that's it for the videos guys i hope you understood the videos nicely and all the best for your tom tomorrow's exam thank you so much please subscribe guys reach me till 100 for subscribers till your exam ends thank you so much bye